in the Still River. Uh, it's been warm just a few days. Today's going to be high near 70 and 50s at night. It's still like spring weather. We haven't gotten into the dog days yet, except there were a few that hit in the mid 80s, one or two days. But then it cooled down after thunderstorms. And I was talking with an old friend of mine who, you know, he, he just doesn't want to retire. He got out of the hospital recently from a, another incident where he was brought back from death's door for the second time in the last three years. Uh, anyway, that brought up the topic of when it's your time to go, if there is a, such a thing. And... Uh, you know, we're walking down the street, and he, being blind, hears things. And somebody in the distance said, there's not much time left. And he goes, oh, an angel. It says there's not much time left. I says, well, I guess there isn't. You know, uh, as they say in the old days, you know, get your house in order and get yourself right with the man. Usually it's the first one second, and the second one first. Um, but being brought back from death's door, I don't know how many times, how many people have told me of all the incidents in their lives, but mine, the first one I believe was when I was hit by a car when I was six and uh, was out in a coma for about four or five days. And, uh, you know, uh, when they brought me in, you know, they thought I was a goner. And the doctor was getting ready to call it. You know, and he was going to send a nurse out to tell, you know, the family. Well, he's gone. But she was on her way out the door to do that. And he yells back, he's back. So that was the first time. Um... Another one was when I was 14 or 15. This guy had this stock car. He reconditioned into a hot rod, a old car. And we all, about five of us, went for a ride in it down this road that had a straightaway and he gunned it. But the road was recently tarred. So we turn around at the end of the road and he starts gunning it on the way back and loses control. And I see this tree coming up. We must have hit it like at least 50 miles an hour, if not more. And uh, and everything went to slow motion. And as we hit the tree, I swung open the door. It was like a slow mo, you know, what you see in the TV and the movies. And I kind of jumped out into the air and landed on the road. Uh, everybody in the car got hurt somewhat except for me and um, the driver was really hurt seriously and it was in the paper you know that you know accident on the road and next to the reservoir road and uh, you know this is it's a miracle that anybody got out alive and I remember another time there's this road going over across the state line and in the teenage years, you know, the drinking age in Still River was 21, across the line about six miles away, it was 18, so people would do beer runs. There were a lot of nightclubs and uh, bars and bands over, just over the line. We used to go to a lot of them. And there was run road on the way back, a back road across the line where you did a beer run if you went bought beer and to bring it back and they would have state police watching and uh, there was an awful lot of accidents on that road a lot of young folks got killed speeding on the way back around this one curve I think it was called Taylor's Corner I'm not sure exactly where it was but I think we went around the corner one night doing 60 or over and uh, my experience of it was we were 
way too over in the center of the road and the curve goes up a hill and curves around on this short right where you can't see around the other end for a very short time. It's a very small curve but it's sharp and we're coming up around the curb and we're almost in the middle of the road and this other headlights are coming the other way and I could swear that car coming the other way went right through us. I mean just like as if it was a ghost or we were and it went through us and uh, needless to say I never went on that road again at high speeds except for one time where it wasn't high speed I got uh, smashed in the back on the street in Still River by my eighth grade math teacher who was uh, kind of going a little too fast in his Mustang and didn't hit his brakes quick enough and smashed the whole back end of a Merck Monterey. So that's just a few of the times that uh, I've been brought back from death's door. And you know, you always think of the reasons why and what you're here for and then, and you find them. There's lots of them for being here.